What's up guys, my name is Adam aka The Chief and we're back with some of the Survive the Forest. So, in the last episode uh, we began, it was basically just my first thoughts on the game, um, and then we actually began building a, a house and stuff and we we're just uh, hiding <laughs> from those guys over there, you can see running around. Um, now, I died after that. <laughs> uh, and the the thing with this game is once you die, you actually it's game over. That's it. You have to start right back from the beginning. So I played a lot, pl played uh, for a little while, got the hang of it. You know, learned a lot about this game. Um, and I want to give you guys my thoughts on whether or not you should buy it right now. And short answer is wait, wait a few days. Hell, I would even say wait the 16 days for the next update. The reason for this, don't get me wrong, this game is amazing, it's fun, um, you're going to have a ton of fun with it even if you do buy it. However, I would wait because the saving, there's no saving on this. So let's say, you know, I build a house, I build, you know, I get all set up, I make some weapons, um, you know, I kill a few of these guys. Even if I do that, it doesn't make a difference. Even if I kill all these people... And I do all this stuff, it's not going to do a damn thing because as soon as I leave the game and come back, I'm, I'm done for anyway. So that's why I say just wait. Uh, give it give it a few days for the save hotfix to come out and then do it um, because you're not going to, you're, you're going to get frustrated. Um, I, I can already tell there's going to be a lot of people who are frustrated and just having to, you know, go back over and over again, trying to do the exact same things and not getting anywhere. Um, I was able to build a log cabin and everything, and I want to show you how to do it. If you want, if you want to buy it, this is how you do it. First, once you get out of there, get all the food, everything, go through all the luggage, get as much stuff as possible. Okay, then you're gonna to want to die right away, <laughs> um, because I'll show you something here. Let me just, let me just kill one of them at least. You know, do some damage. <laughs> nah, the reason I'm, I'm gonna show you the reason why you, you have to die, at least once. If these people kill me. Holy shit, can I do that? Look at his butt. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, I didn't I didn't think so. Um come kill me, dude. I need you to kill me. That was awesome though. Nope, he's dead. Shit. Uh I guess I'm just too good for this, you know? Just kidding. We'll, we'll, we'll find somebody to kill me. Holy shit, there's a giant village here. No wonder there's a bunch of people already here. This is a very bad spot for to land your plane. Were they eating that person? There we go, now we're dead. At least I think so. Come get me. I am here. Alright, now that you've died, and I'm sorry about the brightness, There's this is as bright as it gets, I think. Let me check. Yeah, it's as bright as it gets. Um, there's nothing I can do about that. So, now that you've died, you actually have to go and find this over here. It's always in the same spot. Just turn to your right and come over here. Pick up all these cloths as you go because they're useful. I don't know what for right now. Uh, <laughs> I haven't used any, but you're going to want to find this flare gun. Ah, this flare gun. This is where things are interesting. This flare gun is infinite. Alright, you see I can't click anymore. But, if I go in here, and use it again, 
it duplicates it, gives me full ammo. I can pick this one up. More ammo. More ammo. More ammo. And I keep doing it as much as I want. And this will kill everything um, easily too. So you don't have to worry about a damn thing after after you get this. I'll tell you the truth, it it this as once you get this, you can live forever basically. And then you want to get want to get all this stuff. And I'll show you the quickest way out of this place because it, it's pretty useful to know. Or else you can end up dying in here just from like glitched rocks and stuff like that. Uh, this, this flare gun, I can't stress enough, is your main tool. Uh, so you're gonna, well, not really the main tool, I guess, because the axe is really your main tool. But as soon as you see anybody, like any enemies whatsoever, whip out your flare gun and just start spraying. Uh, I'll show you in a second here why there's always somebody that drops out from the roof right here you'll see him in a second where are you come out come out wherever you are he usually comes out here weird huh looks like he didn't want to come play um, Oh well, so uh, you can see the little path that I went there. You just head over to the left and straight through that water and up. Yeah. This is going to bring you straight to the exit. Now you could, if you want, um, actually there's a little detour here that you could take. Right. Where is it? It's coming up here shortly. Right. Okay, so yeah, that's... Oh no, sorry. <laughs> I'm looking the totally wrong direction. Is that the way? Okay, yeah, so you can cut me through here. And it's a detail. I don't know where this goes. I think this goes to like the most enemies and stuff. So it looks almost like traps that you see. Um, but if you want to get out of the cave, then this is the way you gotta come. You just take this stick. Or that's an axe, sorry. That's in there. Chop down these things. Chop them all down. Chop, chop, chop. And you get out of here. Now this something weird happens here for some reason. Did they turn left? They didn't. That's not right. Haha! <laughs> something weird always happens there. It looks like somewhere totally different. <laughs> and I don't know why it's like that. Don't need your lighter anymore. Alright, now you can literally live forever. <laughs> not not really. I mean if you die, you die, but and you're dead for good. But because you have this flare gun, the enemies are they're nothing to you um you can i'll show you how, just how deadly you really are uh once if we see another person you can literally just spam the shit out of that flare gun and there's nothing they can do about it the the hit you don't actually have to hit them directly you just have to aim in their general direction and it will just attach itself to them basically and kill them um you might have to hit them twice, depending on, but you have unlimited ammo, so it doesn't really matter. I just literally spray and pray, and that's it. <laughs> uh, with that technique, I was able to wipe out an entire area so they didn't ever come back, which was, it felt a little OP. Um, the gun right now is totally, totally overpowered. You can you can basically go wherever you want, as long as they don't come from behind, because um, that, that's like the only thing that I found that could be dangerous is having them because they like the flank um, is having them come from behind so just shoot them all right that's all you got to do and the next piece of survival tip that I can give you is try to find some lizards lizard the skin of the lizard uh, actually gives you armor so if you look in the bottom right hand corner where my my health and energy bars are um, you can see on the red side there there's a red bar that's the health um, there's little notches on the side of it right those notches actually will fill up and this is a spear which I can use to spear these creatures let me see I've never done this before so oh that wasn't a spear shit this is, is this a spear aha this is a spear oh I'm swimming now let's get a fish <laughs> just like in the trailer 
That is the best fishing animation I've ever seen. I'm gonna eat that. Nice. You can cook that. Ah, so there's there's more of the village, a different village. This is a completely different village. Huh. You can usually find some weird shit over here. On the in these villages, um, like I found this like this weird black stuff. You can, you can find money usually too on the ground. Um, they have like flares like that, right? They've got more flares. I don't know why. They do come back, so you do gotta be careful. They usually have like money and stuff too. And um, this black shit that you can rub all over. I don't know what it does, but it's pretty useful. This is actually in the same area. Wow, that I was in previously in my last in the last game that I played, I was just on top of that ridge over there where those trees are. Um, and I wanted to come down here, but I went and did something and came back, and that was that was pretty much it. Um, there's there's this stuff, this black stuff. I don't know what it's for. I really don't. It doesn't do anything. Like I can't do anything with it. Raw fish can be cooked. Um, so that's the spear there. That's pretty much it. Um, so once you get the once you get the lizard skin, you can actually attach it to yourself and access armor. That's what I was talking about before. And those little yellow notches, you can fill it up all the way to the top, and it takes a lot of damage to get rid of it. Um, so that that'll help you basically to to avoid getting hit from the back. Um, it'll just mitigate some of that damage that you take. And then to actually whip out your flare gun really quickly, just press I, hit this, and you you got it open. It looks like a sometimes like, there's some just some bugs with it showing up as a fire gun, but it's a flare gun. <laughs> uh, it's kind of weird. My house is literally up here. I can show you. There's gonna be a pond up here with a big ass tree up there, um, an awesome tree. And there's there's actually a lot of uh, those bad guys up here too. If I remember correctly. I guess I believe there is. This is the exact same spot. The world itself is not randomly generated. Um, however, the location of... Um, these are blueberries. This was this is why I picked this place. See that wicked tree? That was like the first thing that convinced me to live here. Uh, this pond was a second one. I was hoping there was going to be fish in there, but there wasn't. Um, but it was mainly the, the tree, that giant tree, and all of these blueberries. There should be more blueberries around here. I guess the, the fauna is different. I had my house right here, in this little clearing here, because it's like the perfect spot for it. Um, that log cabin. It took me forever to make a log cabin you don't even know like oh, I had to chop down like all of these trees here it was basically a giant clearing after I was done with it to build one log cabin and then <laughs> it turns out the log cabin is literally just a cabin you don't get to sleep in it or nothing so I had to cut down even more trees to make a shelter uh, so I can sleep in it which was ridiculous uh, but whatever the shelter was pretty useful is it's I mean it's useful if you could save the game I mean I would I'm not gonna definitely not gonna build any shelters anymore uh, just because you can't save the game so um, no, that's why I'm telling you oh shit that scared the crap out of me <laughs> I thought that was something different um, I thought I was actually using the axe that's what I'm saying you should hold off to, to buy the game until the update for the saving comes out because once that's out then you can actually establish a base for yourself um, you know, you can basically get into it and play it how it was meant to be played without having to worry about every time you turn off the game, all of your progress is going to be lost. Um, I don't know exactly when it's coming out, but as soon as it does, I will post a video about it, um, and then I'll, I'll also be starting a series after that. So, those are my first thoughts and survival guide on Survive the Forest. That's, if you if you follow what I just said, you will definitely live for a long, long time. And I can I can just walk around here without a care at all, just because I know that with with this flare gun, um, and if I found some lizard armor, I would literally be a okay for life, <laughs> uh, which is awesome. And here's a lizard. I'll show you the armor real quick before I go. 
this guy will let me kill him. There we go. So take out that lizard there. Um, oh, there's another one too. I'll show you. I'll get some of this. Oh shit! Stay there, lizard. You can hit them through rocks. Uh, they like to hide in there. Okay. Anyway, we'll go in here. So you can see this lizard ar lizard skin here increases armor. So you just click it. You can see this little yellow bar here went up by a couple. That's now your armor. So you can see it takes quite a bit to actually uh, get it all the way up. This is a good spot to find lizards. They're always spawning here uh, in infinite numbers. I mean, I can see there's another one there. And a bunny rabbit too. See? So as you can just basically chill out here. This would actually be not bad of a place to put a log cabin and stuff um, if you could if you get all the wood for it and things just because you'd have unlimited access to food um, unlimited access to armor and you'd be pretty much set because the only thing I'd be worried about is whether or not the villagers actually keep spawning here I don't think they do um, but you can't remove any of their structures either so that kind of sucks too but you can build traps all around here um, and it would be a perfect safe haven, I guess. Especially if you build up here. Uh, because then you are actually not even here. I like to build on cliffs. I wanted to go check this out. I noticed this before. It's like, I don't even, I don't know if it's an underground cave or what. Oh, it's just a puddle. From far away, it looks like crazy. It is deep as hell, though. Holy crap. <coughs> Oh shit. Alright, so that's enough for that. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If I helped you at all, please leave a like and comment. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.